Hello, YouTubers, and all those who happen to deliciously watch. A little bit of a, of an update of sorts at a Minecraft world. So, okay, let's take a look at what we have here. Oh, it looks like I upgraded a little bit here from that old little shack you guys remember seeing. Uh, did a little bit of work here. Yes, this is a yucky, yucky little swamp, but... Do not be offended, it's a nice little swamp because I am here, of course. But, uh, okay, as you can see, I put up the wall and, you know, obviously a little bit of fine-tuning has to come involved. You know, I gotta put, like, extra bits and pieces here and there. Ugh. Pardon me, and make it look like a pretty little area. But, you know, again, I'm gonna be nowhere near as done as I'm what I'm planning to do with this. I'm, again, putting bits and pieces down. You know, I got this little let me jump down here. Got little bits and pieces again. Gonna eat some raw chicken. Not some sorry, cooked chicken. Made this like <laughs> logged off of this. But as you guys can see, uh have the two little nice little trees set up over here. And this is naked, this looks half ass, I know. It's all just going to a plan. I'm gonna be putting out, you know, a nice little farm at least over here. I'm going to be putting some, you know, some sugar cane, some, you know, making some paper, putting out some trees. I'm going to harvest some bones to be able to grow fast trees. And again, be able to do some good stuff. But, yeah, I mean, everything looks pretty cool. I'll show you a little bit of what's inside. I need to put some staircase, or some cobblestone staircases over here. Or at least over here, because I'm actually planning to revert. But go into here, you can see I have the double. This is where you saw all the action with me and the sheep there. Uh, that totally sounded wrong, but we will go with that, because that's just how it is. Also, you know, got some coal in the furnaces, double checking those. You know, I got my crafting table. We're going to be putting an alchemy table probably here or something like that. I'm not 100% certain. Probably upstairs, or I will add. I'm adding on to this get, um, this house anyway. So, I mean, it's nowhere near as cool as my old house I used to have on the uh, Strictly Sega server. I do have a backup of that server, might I add. So I have to actually go about and uh, you know reinstate that and give you guys a quick little tour of what I used to have. And I gotta figure out how the hell you put the save into the uh, my save file and. Yeah, that's pretty freaking creepy, I'm not gonna lie. That is very creepy right now. And you are a spider, sir. You are a flipping spider. You are a badass spider. You are a killing machine. And I am Dan Van Dam. And I kicked your ass. This is the quickening man, give me your stuff. But most likely there is a Enderman, I believe, still in this area. <laughs> Over here is some zombies. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Camper? Anyway. Go and click exodize this area. Remove any threat that would contest to be dying. Lava. Very good start. Oh, oh, baby Jesus butt plugs. I'm excited. Touch my dirty nipples. But. You know, you see some lava here, that's a very good thing. And you're probably asking why. Well, once I make a nice bucket, once I figure out or remember how the hell to do that, because I don't remember. But uh, once I remember how to make a bucket in this game, uh, Mr. Bucket, poop a bulls in my mouth. I'm sorry, too soon, too soon. But uh, once I'm able to uh, build a bucket after memory, because I'll look it up after. And So by the time you guys watch this video, or watch the video of me saying all this, I'll probably remember. I haven't played this game in so bloody long, I totally forgot like half the commands and... I don't, 
Uh, I kind of like that. They have like popping sounds now for the lava. See, I haven't played this game in so long, guys. You can, there's like so many additions to this game that I'm just totally new to, and it's a little bit of exciting to discover new things in Minecraft. It's a fun game. I, I enjoy it. It's just sometimes I get burnt out because I overplay it. Then I take a break, come back to it, and I feel refreshed. You guys ever have that when you play a video game? You just kind of feel burnt out because you loved it so much. You just enjoy it, you absorb it, and you, and you, get, you get burnt out like crazy. So you don't even need a special shovel to dig all this out. You just need like a stone shovel. So most people like to spend the materials like and actually, what is it? Well, they pretty much waste it on dirt and everything. Just, just stick to a stone shovel. It's cheap to build, easy to build, and you don't really need any, any need a sh better shovel for really anything else that I know of. As you can see right here, there is some sort of calamity here. It's like a mixture of lava and water, which is pretty cool. And I don't really need to contain that. Because I feel very secure where I'm standing. Probably a monster. I hit Whoa, that is a that's oh my god! Wow! Found a dungeon. Or I found a, uh, what the hell do they call those? A fort. That is freaking convenient. I will have to figure out a way to get down there. That is pretty badass. Heard those are extremely hard to find. But I'm not jumping down there right away because I'm, or frankly, uh, enabled, or not capable, rather, to get down there. Look. Oh yeah, I see zombies down there. Hold shift, because you hold shift you can cling on to edges. Yeah, that is a abandoned mine shaft. I am definitely going down there. Not right now, because I need to get prepared. Need more equipment. Because when there is Mine shafts like that, that most likely means there's treasure, not treasure, but uh, a lot of shit that will kick my ass. <laughs> so that means I'll practically have to come back when I'm more better prepared. So what I'm going to have to do is build something so I can be able to detect where it is, where the area is, and build something where I can go down and explore. And I'll probably do that for a video, so I'm not going to touch the area at all. I'm just going to build a way to get down there. Which obviously use some sand, which is a one-trick pony with that. And uh, with the sand, what you do with that is you know build ladders, put them all the way down, and then you're pretty much be good and dandy. But oh wait, oh oh, build some torches. Wish I had some red tor red uh, torches. Those are awesome for uh, to using as a marker. I mean, redstone, don't get me wrong, is... Okay, let's put one, two, three, four all over the place so I know where it is. Well, you see, that's an obvious... Yeah, that scares the shit out of me. And I barely get scared. <laughs> Curious little bunny. Very scared little bunny as well. Hope it'll go into uh, silver. Not silver as in mining silver, but uh, those silver thingies there. I was planting these shrooms. And if you have some of this, you can actually make it go. Whoop. 
But, uh, yeah, I'm quite terrified. I don't know what to expect here. But, you know, I wasn't really expecting to do this, but seeing I kind of found an easier way to get down. Build some fortress here at least. But again, super freaking nervous. Or the undead. Get back, devils. Get back. Behind me, devil. I hear it. I acknowledge it's there. Looks like this will be a little bit of an easier task. Yeah, I'll have to build a little bit later on though. Unless down here. It's down here. Oh. Yeah, much easier than I expected, which is very good. Just means I need to build a ladder all the way down here which that will be very tricky so again I'm gonna have to build some sand to deaden my fall when I drop down there but definitely to brighten up this area put some sparkle on the walls what the holy f is that a slime? and a creeper? It is a slime. You, sir, are a slime. That's why I'm not going near you. Because <laughs> I heard those kick your ass. Unless... Let's be curious. Let's be very curious. That is a huge slime. You can see it back there, though. Right there. But for now, well, let's put my tail between my legs, get some better gear, prepared at least, and come back when I am fully equipped with the proper adequate gear. Because again, I ran out of pickaxes and need better stuff. But would you guys like to see me go down there and kick some unholy random shit ass? Because I know there's going to be plenty of things that are going to kick my ass, but the main question is, can you think my body can take it? Baddies popping up anywhere. But, yeah, need to definitely stock up on some coal. Use it for my furnaces. So far, are you guys enjoying this playthrough? I mean, I'm just going to be doing it just enough to, you know, to do anything possible throughout so, so far of the content. Um, my main goal is to beat the game because there is a win to this game. You have to obviously enter the ether world, beat the ether dragon, and you get an end credits, blah blah blah. And that's pretty much the end of this game. A lot of people thought for a while there was no end. I mean, there wasn't up until more recent when uh, Notch and all those folks uh, put together the ending. Because they decided there had to be an ending, so that way they didn't have to build anything else. <laughs> Careful. The dead end, which is cool. Not gonna touch too much of the resources here, don't need too many. Though, the ceiling here is, is crap and gold mine right here. I hate it when a good pickaxe breaks. So, I hear slime though. Oh no, that's flame. My bad. There we go. 
why not? But, hi, that's, I'm kind of excited. Found that abandoned mine, which most likely leads to a lot of crap that's gonna kick my unholy ass. Oh, good goosebumps. I'm excited. At the same time, I'm just nervous. So, comments down below, guys. Post what you guys think of the show so far. Though I could troll and put that lava and through that hole there and just shatter the idea of going out. I'm kidding. I would never do that. Waste a perfectly good ex exploration uh, exhibit. So, we gotta make sure I'm aware of where the freak I am. I knew coming down here was a good idea, but I was unaware, I'm very unsure, I think I didn't explore too far. Yeah, I think I did. My, I don't did. Yep. So sorts, I need to play something here so I know exactly where to go. I need to memorize my surroundings. Dirt. But yeah, that me finding that, by the way, guys, is extraordinarily lucky. Like, finding an abandoned shaft. I mean, some people, oh, we found it my first try. Oh, I mean, that's cool and all, but you know, for me, it's quite rare. Look at you, crafty little son of a bitch. Come over here. Look at you. You're gorgeous. And you died. And it's the quickening, and I'm level 5 now. Aww. Group hug. But it is done, or it could be done. Yep, it is done. I knew it was done the whole entire time. That's right. You heard me, but no, no. This will pretty much end the video for now. So I need to go do some preparations, get plenty of ingredients such as chicken and uh, what else. I also need to build a couple regenerative uh, areas for animals. That way, I can have a nice, decent farm, need to finish this area up, uh, make more storage, I mean that's stuff I have to prepare, you know, so that way the next video comes around, you guys can see a little bit of a better looking place than this, this area doesn't look amazing, I know, it needs to be bigger, and that's my OCD for you, I have to make things bigger, but uh, yeah, that's it for all for right now, so take it easy folks, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for more Let's play Minecraft with Worth Universe HD. Oh, man. Don't touch me.